Right, so here we go. And I hope we got picture and sound and everything's good. Uh, warm and welcome to uh, North Sanox on the Isle of Arran. CV UK Sunday Night Live Show. I'm trying to get out the wind. Uh, the wind is uh, hacking above the hill behind me. I've just come down into this wee, wee little burn to try and get out the wind. Uh, so you can hear me. Hope you've all had a lovely weekend and uh, say a warm and welcome to country at the beautiful Sanox Bay. Uh, I've come over here tonight. Uh, so I'll get a good signal here at Sanox. And uh, I want to spend a couple of days here exploring the mountains. The fallen rocks and the caves further down the coast. So that'll be nice the next few days. Hopefully the weather will improve because uh, it's been pretty horrendous the last few days. Howling winds, never known winds like it. Rain, cloud. But it's uh, cleared up a little bit today, but it's still a little bit breezy. And also, well, I've come over to the uh, this side of the island, the northwest. Apparently, the, uh, there's a pod of dolphins knocking around. Uh, they've come in early this year. They not, don't usually come in till May, mid-May. But uh, a couple of my friends on the island, the locals, give me a heads up that the dolphins are about. So we might see them in the next couple of days. It'd be nice to get those on camera. Uh, hopefully all good, we'll wait for a minute for a few more to come in. Uh, <coughs> smash the thumbs up there, uh, share the stream if you can, the link stream, to YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. It's starting to get a bit bloody cloudy now, it's bloody marvellous. It's been sunny the last hour, just before the live, and it's there's some dark clouds behind me above the mountains. Just spin you around. This beautiful wee burn cutting through the glen. You've got the stunning mountains up there, folks. Absolutely beautiful. Lovely way to spend an evening. So we'll give it a few more minutes, uh, see if some more will come in. Uh, I can't stay away from the, from the van too long because uh, I haven't got much battery on the iPhone, so I'm not sure how, how long this live will show tonight. But uh, we'll keep it rocking as long as we can. Hopefully we'll get a few come in. I'll take you a little look around this beautiful place. It's nice to get out of the van. I've been stuck in the van more or less for three days, solid. But that's van life, the van rocking as well and the howling winds. But that's the way it is in the winter. No good making a drama about it and all the birds coming into roost now. There's uh, oyster catchers, terns, curlews, various gulls. Oh, that wind is hacking now. Lime O'Reilly. Some dark clouds coming now, so I think it's, there's a hooli on the way in, and there's a rainbow over there to the left. Whoa! Well, you can see the wind blowing on the bloody water, but uh, it's bloody starting. There's a hooli coming in, I think. Might be advisable to get back to Christine. Plus, I ain't got my glasses on, so I can't. Can I make out chat? Who's in the house? Who we got in the house so far? Uh, Pam and Johnny from Ireland. Hello, guys. How you, Pam? How you, Johnny? How you doing, both? Uh, yeah, Kathleen. Yeah, I think we had the back end of Kathleen the last three days. It's been bloody horrible, but uh, not too bad today. It's supposed to be easing up tomorrow. How you doing, Pam? Lovely to see you. Are you, David? Windy as feck, I know, mate. It ain't half. Tell me about it. The van has been on two wheels for the last three days. Uh, David, saying hello to Pam. Pam saying hello back. Chris, hey, good evening. Footage is a bit fussy for me, Steve. Your internet must be weak. All oh, right. Anybody else? Is the uh, imaging footage funny? Or is it just Chris's end? Uh, Chris's end? <laughs> or is it Chris's uh, part of the world that's fuzzy? I don't know. Anybody else getting a clear image or is it fuzzy? Watch it, Timo. 
Good afternoon, Mucker. How you doing, bro? There's plenty of uh, channels that do make a drama. Uh, yeah, I know, Dave. The van's rocking and it's a bloody nightmare for him, and it's crazy. It's van life, isn't it? It's what you've got to put up with, especially in the winter. Chris is saying hello to David. David saying hello back as well, and to Tim, lovely jubbly. Uh, we are good. Uh, there's uh, a song, Take Me Home Again, Kathleen. Oh, yeah, sure is. Take me home, Kathleen. Uh, I put it down uh, to the wind, uh, David. <laughs> uh, my end, okay, thanks. Laugh out loud, right. Yeah, I hope it's uh, good for everybody else, the image. Right, we'll have a little. Uh, uh, meander. To show you exactly where I am, this beautiful place. This lovely beach here. It's lovely when the sun's out, it really is. It makes a difference when the sun's out. And the summer's coming. It's been a long, long winter. Crawl the wood down here. There's a wood for you guys. Whoops. Wood burners. But uh, too messy for me, a wood burner. Far too messy, too smelly. But uh, it'd be nice to have one though. Beautiful tides on the way out. Got loads of birds down. We've got a bit of a, well, it's a rainbow trying to happen over there. We've got a quarter of a rainbow. I've never seen that before. It just stops over there towards uh, Campbelltown on the Kintyre. Yeah, apparently there were dolphins around earlier this morning. So hopefully I'll stay down here for a few days. We may get those guys on film because I want to explore this area a lot more, Sanox, because North Sanox is beautiful. A wee burn running into the sea there, isn't that lovely? We've got all those glorious mountains which are getting starting to get shrouded in. Here comes the rain, look. Here comes the rain again. All the mountains getting shrouded in cloud. I want to get the drone up there. If we can get a nice sunny day with uh, no wind. All right, so I think I'll take you, take you back up to Christine. The sky's in the van. We've been for a long walk today. So I want to do some exploring around here because it's uh, a pretty epic place to uh, for walking. And it's a pretty epic place for a van meet, this place. It's an ideal place on the island to uh, meet vans. Because you can get half a dozen vans in here. No trouble at all. You're out the way. As you can see, there's Christine, all on her own. Now the bank holiday business is finished with the uh, Easter. All on our own, there's that old broken down caravan there. There's nobody in that, it's a uh, derelict. But uh, all on our own here. Uh, I think we dropped out on connection there. Are we, uh, I think we're live again. Yeah, you'll drop out on connection now and again. It's not the best connection down here. But uh, at least we've got a connection. Right, you've got the beautiful mountains up there. They're absolutely amazing. Yeah, hopefully, uh, and then Coxie, mate, nice to see you there, Coxie. Yeah, hopefully, Coxie, when the weather clears and all these mountains are in sunshine, I'll get the drone to fly right up that valley and round those beautiful, epic mountains up there. They are stunning. They're the most stunning mountains on the island. Epic, they're, they're more stunning than uh, uh, Goatfell. Uh, this side of the island, they're absolutely, it's a, it's a, it's a Sanox uh, Glen, Glen Sanox, I believe it's called, down through that pass there. It's called Glen Sanox, and it is beautiful. Look, plenty of room for RVs here. Timo, St Stephen loves the throw, don't mention bloody throwaway barbecues. Don't get me bloody ranting. You want me to start to piss down me bloody rain now, typical. Don't get me ranting about throwaway barbecues. <sighs> I've just had to pick, I just went for a walk down there and I picked two dog bags up. Dirty buggers. What is the matter with people? And there's bins down there. One of the bags was about uh, 20 foot away from a bin. Dirty buggers. Dirty, dirty people. <laughs> yeah, there's loads of parking spaces here. Look at North Sanox. And you've got all that area to, uh, to picnic. You're allowed barbecues, but not on the grass. They want you to have your barbecues on the beach here, down in the pebbles, so the tide will wash it away. So if you do come here, do not have your barbecue on the grass here. No matter what barbecue you got, go down on the beach. Unless you got one off the ground barbecue by your van, you'll be all right with that, as long as you're cleaning it up, of course. 
leave no trace and all that business. There's Christine up on the ramps, lovely. I'll pick this spot because no one else can park by me there. Whereas here, you can get half a dozen cars and vans in here. So I've deliberately gone down there because no one can park by me. Because you know I like my privacy. But uh, this time of year, you hardly get anybody about anyway. Yeah, further down the coast there, you've got, uh, you can see that sign there, one and 0.3 miles, you've got fallen rocks. And there's a few caves down there, a lovely walk down there. We'll go down there later. There's Christine, all nice and straight on that wobbly ground. There's Sky looking through the window. That van is in brilliant condition. I went inside it and this is bone dry inside. It's in great condition. That's a shame. There's Sky. Can you see her? You can't see her with the reflection. There she is. Hello, Sky. Hello, Sky. You natter. What a beautiful view, eh, to wake up to. Looking out my window, having my dinner, my tea, my breakfast. Looks like I'm doing a wheelie. Like. <laughs> What's your Richard, how you doing, mate? I see you popped a video up the other day. Nice to see you vlogging again, bro. How you doing, Richard, you all right? You with uh, Chaz? Well, caravan for you there, Richard. <laughs> all right. There she is, she's well high up on them ramps. Lovely, everything's tickety bell on Christine at the moment, so everything's running fine. So I've got to get my clutch and suspension done next MOT. That's going to be a bit of a headache, but uh, got to be done, eh? Got to be done. Oh, the rain is coming, the rain is coming. Right, let's go back inside and I'll see, have a look what's going on with chat. Let's just show you this caravan. It is in, it looks so, I, it's, I believe it's been here about 10 years and it is in excellent condition. Okay, the uh, gas cabinet's been bloody wrecked, but uh, that's an easy fix. But uh, a few gas bottles inside there, but actually inside is, just have a look. Inside it is spotless, not a sign of damp anywhere. Look at that, not a sign of damp. Okay, it needs doing up. Of course it does, it needs a bit reverb. But even the cushion, look how tidy the cushions are. Actually, I wouldn't mind them for my bloody van. But uh, that's in pretty good condition. I think somebody's been uh, sleeping in here, I don't know. But uh, what about that, eh? Bunkers, some nice trimmings there. Nice cupboards. It is. Absolutely bone dry in here and neat as a pin. Okay, it's a bit messy. It's, uh, even the carpet's quite clean. What's going on? Why would someone leave this here? Oh, the windows are not too bad either. Overhead's all right. So it's bone dry everywhere. Every corner, there's not an ounce of damp in here. And they've been wrecked, but uh, that's an easy fix. But a nice little caravan. Just sat here doing nothing for the last 10 years. Needs a bit of a scrub outside. But uh, all the windows are good. Double glazed windows. Bonkers, eh? Anyway, oh my arse end is nearly touching the floor there. We're on such a slope, look. My tow bar's nearly on the ground. Lovely jubbly. Right, we'll get back to my Christine. I'll see what's going on in chat. I don't know how many people have got in. Uh, uh, smash the thumbs up folks if you can I think we've got over 20 30 people coming in and out so smash those thumbs up uh, share the uh, stream if you can I'm not sure how long we'll go tonight because my battery is a bit low at the moment and I can't plug my battery in while my DJI mic remote mic is plugged in so that's a bit of an issue but never mind if it goes it goes there's a big ship out there in the uh, I think this is a, is this a Firth of Clyde on this side? I think it's a Firth of Clyde, I'm not sure. Looking over towards Kintyre. But uh, beautiful, what a lovely view out the window. Nice, get back inside. Oh, say hello to Sky. There she is. Hello, Sky. What are you doing? You were thinking, Dad, what are you doing going out without me? Oh, blimey, that's a big jump up. You Sky baby, 
Hello, Sky. You all right? Say hello to everybody. Hello. Hello, folks. <laughs> you lovely girl. All right, we're nice and cosy now. Got a lovely view out the window there. The sea out the window. We've got the sea out the window that way as well. And we've got the glorious, the glorious mountains up there behind Christine. Lovely. Right, I'm going to get kettle on. Uh, what I might do tonight, if I've got time on the live, because uh, I'm doing a bit of a thing on air fryers. Uh, anybody into air fryers? I'm going to do a series on air fryers because uh, they're game chasing us in the van. If you get a low wattage one, you've got to get a low wattage one now. It's no good getting a 2000 watt one because you ain't going to be able to use one of those. Oh, there's a little uh, VW just come in, a dubs. There's a dubs just pulling up. So I might have company later. This is my family war, my lovely Christine, bless her. Bless your cotton sot, sweetheart. Blow my wishes with me. My heart pounds for that girl every day. Every single day my heart pounds for that girl. Right, so, um, yeah, so uh, what I might do tonight is uh, try some honey glazed uh, pork chops in the air fryer. It's only a small one, it's ideal. So I might do a series on air fryer cooking because I like my van tucker cooking. Country Van Life and took a series on the air fryer cooking because they not only fast cooking, it's exactly like an oven, if not bloody better in my opinion, but you're not using any energy. It's not costing you a bean. So I won't have to use my bloody stove no more. I won't have to pay for gas no more because it's all free off my solar and my uh, power stations, free energy, free cooking, all done in that little baby. Right, anybody else got air fryers? Put your comments in if you've got an air fryer and what you think of them. You can bloody well do anything now. I've got loads. Right, so we're back. I think we lost the stream there for a minute. It's just out the window. Poke you out the window, guys. You can just look down there at the seat. Lovely jubbly. Oh, try and sort me out. My gorilla pad out. Oh, bear with me. Hold on to your tuppence. Oh, I don't want your camera falling out the window. Oh, that'll do for now. I'll have a chat in a minute. We've got over 20 in the show, which is lovely jubbly. Everybody pop in, say hello in chat. Let me know who you are, what you've been up to, what you've been up to the weekend. Uh, down at last. After three days of bloody Kathleen, whacking us left, right and bloody centre, smashing us to pieces the last three days, Kathleen. Oh, can you hear that wind whistling through the van? <laughs> Love it. It's not cold though. It's not cold at all. It's bloody lovely. Oh, you've got 24, 25 in lovely jubbly. So come to the stream, folks. Uh, make a comment. Let me know who you are and what you've been up to the weekend. What your plans are. The end of spring, summer. Who's got a van? Where are you going and what you're up to? In the forest hiding from the wind. Yeah, don't blame me, David. Blame me. Starts calm. It's supposed to be a bit calmer tomorrow, hopefully. I think the whole country's been windy, hasn't it? Top to bottom, I think we've had gales. Kathleen rolling through. But uh, goodbye, Kathleen, and good riddance. Is, the, uh, is that spring for all electric? I don't know, mate. You want about the VW? Yeah, you can't beat the air fryers, can you, Timo? Uh, I've only started using it the last few weeks, more and more, and I haven't used my oven the last uh, two weeks. It's all been in the air fryer. Breakfast, bacon, chops, roast, roast taters, chips. Cook anything in one of those. Oh, we noise, Timo, yeah, yeah, or electric, yeah. Sorry, mate. You know me, mate, mushy peas in my head. Yeah, so you can't beat it, can you? Free electric as well, free power. I'll save a fortune on gas by using the air fryer. An absolute fortune. Because you know the amount of cups of tea I have. I've got electric kettle and everything now, and a, a toast, electric toaster, electric uh, roasting pot, and of course the air fryer. I've got a chip fryer as well, electric. So it's all free now. So that's going to save me a bloody fortune in gas. Can't moan when it's free, can you? That's what we like in van life. Everything's nice and free. 
It's only a thousand watts, Richard. So, so if you're ever going to buy an air fryer, don't buy one of these big jobbies, um, the 2000 watt ones, because you're just going to pop everything. You're going to, your power stations are going to be zapped within minutes. And even if you use an EHU hook up on a caravan site, you're going to pop the electrics with those big beasts. Those big beasts are made for the house and, uh, you know, proper electric hookups to your house and to the grid. So uh, if you're going to get one, get a, a low watt one. Mine's only a thousand watt. It's only two litre, but it does for me. I can get a chicken in there. I can do whatever I like in there. You know, roast potatoes, chips, breakfast, all sorts in there, gammon joints. So make sure you get a low wattage one. Mine's 1000 watts and that, that'll cope. That'll only take 10% out of my um, power station. So 10% of my power station, it's all free. Just charge it back up again. So get a lower watt one. I see a lot of camper van channels and uh, a lot of van channels um, reviewing these air fryers, but they've got too many watts coming through. You know, they're living in cuckoo land if they think they can use those. You know, one running two and a half thousand watts. Cuckoo land, honestly. It'll run, it'll run, but it'll only run for a few minutes, which is pretty useless. Uh, too big for my old power oak. Uh, I think it's 300 watts, so right, Richard. Yeah, if you, have an inv if you had a 2K inverter connected to your leisure bat battery system, Richard, you'd be able to run one. So you don't need a power station to run one. You can run it off an inverter, a 2K inverter or 3K inverter. Uh, connected to your uh, leisure batteries. Yeah, Timo, the 600 panel has changed my wintering. I'm, I've saved a fortune on turning my engine on this winter because of that 600 watt panel. Even on a cloudy day, it'll still draw in 100 watts. So even if it's raining, it'll still draw in 80 to 100 watts on a cloudy day. And that's been a game changer. That saved me a fortune. Oh, it's just fell on my head. That saved me a days to charge my power stations. Don't have to do that no more. Just throw out my 600 panel. Okay, they're a lot of money. Yeah, they're a considered purchase. But, uh, you know, within three, four months, you paid for it. You really paid for it by not using other ways to uh, get energy into your batteries, by your engine or whatever, or driving. Because uh, I do hang about in places for long periods of time. You know, as long as you keep yourself to shelf and uh, behave and be friendly with the natives, you know, don't bother anyone. You can stay in these camps for a week if you want to, you know. I see a lot of uh, YouTube channels out there saying, oh, the golden rule is in and out, one night, in early, out late. That's a load of bullshit to me, it really is. Whoa, that wind's hacking. As long as you behave, talk to the locals, get on with the locals, don't do nothing stupid by getting your bloody chairs and your awnings out. You can stay as long as you like. I've never had an issue in my three, three, over three years now. And I've been in some camps for uh, 10 days. So all this golden rule, in and out, stay one night, move on. It's all right if you're out for the weekend or for a week or whatever, or if you're traveling around, that's all right. But when you're living in a van, you have to live in your van. It's my life. Uh, how much was your air fry, Stephen? It was off eBay. Uh, uh, I think it was about 32 quid. Cheap as chips, and it paid for itself within a week. 32 quid, I think it was. It's only a two litre, it's only a small one, but it does the bloody job. I've done some bacon in it yesterday, and it was fantastic. The bacon was bloody crispy, lovely. I couldn't have cooked it any better in a frying pan. Excellent piece of kit, but I will be doing a series of air fryer recipes and cooking, just to show you the versatility of these air fryers. We have not uh, had any problems uh, with locals, only stayed for a max of five nights, but agree with you, what you said. Yeah, David, as long as you behave, eh? As, you know, as long as you don't be bloody stupid, taking up bloody space or blocking a gate or, you know, blocking a one bloody car, car park up or whatever. You know, when I do my long stays, they're usually up in the hills, out the way, where nobody goes. You know, I wouldn't do it on a car park, of course, it's a major resort, I wouldn't do that there, but, you know, you, you have to judge the moment, don't you? Judge the situation, you know, judge everything around you, if it's right or if it doesn't feel right, of course you move on. But uh, here at Sanox, I could sit here for two weeks, no problem at all, not bothering no one, keeping myself to the self, I'm out the way, there's plenty of room for other people. 
But uh, as I say, I'm not, you know, I'm not out for a weekend. I'm not out for a month or two months. This is my life. So I have to settle down and just do my normal life kind of thing. Living in a van. Exactly what you guys are doing in your house, but I'm in a van. But of course, I'm full-time YouTubing, so that takes up all my time. I'm not sure how much longer the battery will last on this uh, iPhone. Uh, is that all I was thinking of hundreds? No, just 32 quid, I think it was. 35 quid, something like that, Richard. Uh, two litre, one, one K air fryer. Uh, cheapest chips. Exactly, one rule for one, it does not feel right. Move on. Yep, sure is right, David. You know if it's not right, don't you, David? You know if the situation is not right. You get a sense for it once you're a bit more experienced in uh, doing this type of thing, whether it's just uh, every now and again or whether it's your life, you do get an experience. You get a feeling for a spot. What a beautiful place this is, A.A. Eh? Sanox. Absolutely stunning. I think this is one of my favourite glens on the island. Uh, Glen Rosser is stunning. And uh, Glen Sanox, Sanox is stunning. So the two glens on the island, I think, are my favourite places on the Isle of Arran. I love them, absolutely love them. I'm not sure how long my battery will last on this, uh, folks. Uh, just bought another 3.5, uh, 600 watt, 30 pound, Richard. There you go. So cheapest chips, you have a look on eBay, the cheapest chips. I mean, if you want all the bells and whistles, they're a lot more expensive, but uh, you're gonna have trouble running those uh, two and a half kilowatt ones. You really are, in a van anyway. But as I say, even if you go to a caravan site with one of those two and a half kilowatt, double air fryers with all the bells and whistles, you'll throw the electrics on the caravan site, you will. With your power off your van, and as soon as you turn on that two and a half kilowatt air fryer, you're gonna pop most electrics on sites because they haven't got the, uh, they're not putting out the vaults, are they? But uh, they're running all right if you're in a house. But uh, get low wattage one. Everything's low wattage in my van. My electric, even my electric blanket, it's a low wattage electric blanket, I think it only runs uh, 25, something like that, 30. And that gets me toasty warm every night. Uh, and everything else is low wattage as well. My TV is low wattage. Uh, what else? Uh, I've got a cooler box, which is low wattage. So always look for low wattage devices and you'll be good. But those air fryers, they, they really are game changers. Or oh, chicken, oh, chicken is amazing. I don't think I'll have enough battery on it to uh, film me doing my uh, chops tonight on this live show. I was going to do some honey roast pork chop in the air fryer. Not done that before in the air fryer, so I was going to do that on the video tonight. But uh, unless I unplug my remote mic, plug my auxiliary battery in from the van, but I won't have mic, I don't think, because I think the sound's gone on my iPhone without the remote mic in there. Uh, never mind, but uh, we'll see how we get on anyway. Right, I'm going to put the kettle on, so I'm not sure how long the battery's going to go on this uh, live stream, but uh, we'll keep rocking if we can. Uh, anybody else in chat there, not come in and introduce yourself, uh, pop in, say hello, let us know who you are. If you want a shout out, just, uh, just pop in, I'll give you a shout out for your channels, any new channels watching as well. Uh, the subs are going up slightly on Chris Dean, which is nice on uh, Country Van Life. Uh, we're not far off 5k now. I think we're only about 50 off, something like that. So let's have a push to the uh, 5k line. And uh, I can only do that with you guys sharing my videos to your platforms. Uh, There's a lovely share done the other day by, I think it was Chaz, uh, Chai. Yeah, I think it was Chai. He did a lovely share on one of his uh, platforms of my channel. You know, asking people who's going to check him out and saying that the channel was addictive and it uh, shows exactly what proper off-grid living is all about, which was amazing. It was a lovely comment by Chai. Uh, not sure whether you're in the uh, stream, Chai, but uh, that was a lovely comment. So the more you guys share for me, the channel, the quicker we get to 5K. I'm not happy at 5K. I want 10K. I want 100K. I looked at the uh, premonition statistics on the channel. And it says we'll have 100k within three, four years, which is a long time, I know, but uh, it takes that long, it'll take that long, but hopefully we'll get there quicker than that. 
to get this channel nice and big so we can start touring all over Europe and doing all sorts of wonderful things on the channel once the channel gets big and I get a bit more revenue coming in from it because it is my living, it's part of my living because I'm on a pension. So uh, running my YouTube channel is a full-time job and it is a full-time job, believe me, the amount of vlogs I put out. Produce vlogs anyway, properly produce vlogs. Best that I can anyway with an iPhone because that's all I'm filming with, an iPhone. So the best that I can, I know the sound is not brilliant sometimes, but uh, I have got all the bells and whistles I've got with the equipment. But if the channel gets bigger, we can get some nice equipment and we can start going all over Europe and on all sorts of adventures. Lovely. I'm just going to put a kettle on. Uh, and uh, I don't think we'll go long on this now because the battery may go, so I may have to cut this short. I'm just going to put a kettle on anyway. Oh, it's nice and cosy and Christine. Oh, it's nice to be in the van without it rocking back and forward. As I say, I've been on two wheels the last three days with the winds. Storm Kathleen, she's a, she was a, a bit of a wild one, that Kathleen was. But uh, it's supposed to be calming down tomorrow. It should be nice. I'll be able to do a, a bit of filming of this uh, Sanox area, get me drone up as well. Which would be cool. Sky is having a kip. Oh, it's get kettle on. Yeah, if anybody wants to see any more, because uh, I know folk do like my country, CV UK van tucker that I do. Uh, if anybody wants to see a lot more recipes, and the bat low battery light has just come on my iPhone poo pants and crap so uh, the stream's going to go soon folks yeah if anybody wants to see more recipes uh, me cooking with an air fryer show you exactly the versatility and what you can do with them uh, I will I will do a lot more if people want that Yeah, Richard, I don't understand it. Uh, it's actually YouTube algorithms, Richard. Uh, it's very erratic. Uh, I don't know how it works. You get some awful bloody channels and they go, they get thousands of subs, thousands of views. And what are people looking at? I don't understand it. I really don't. Yeah, you work your bloody nuts off and try and get a bit of quality out there. And uh, you just trickle. Oh, whoa. Did you say that? Did you see that? Did that come in front of the camera? And then that Robin come in front of the iPhone and just hovered in front of my camera. I thought it saw it. I think it saw its reflection on the other side of the iPhone. I don't know whether it got up to here, but it came here and just hovered there for about three seconds and went away. That was amazing. I don't suppose that come on camera. Perching views. I don't know, David, because they get the comments uh, along with the views as well. So they look like genuine views. I think it's just the way YouTube algorithms pick up certain channels. If you're not, if you're not in their clique for some reason or other, I don't know what it is. You, they're not putting you in front of the platform for people to see you. Uh, I don't know what it's all about. I really don't. There's some awful channels out there do the same thing inside their vans, waffling inside, having a cup of coffee, and walk around the van, then back in the van, and walk around and back in the van. They're bloody awful. They get thousands of views, thousands of comments and views. I don't understand it. I really don't. Right, yeah, that's the way of the world, eh? But I need a viral video. <coughs> Usually a viral video is the one that kicks your channel into, a, into the stratosphere. If you get a viral video, that will make the channel. <coughs> but uh, we'll plug away. <coughs> we'll keep plugging away. We'll get the 10,000 one day, and then the 100,000. Uh, then I can promise you we we'll really will be doing some exciting things on the channel if I can get the income coming off those when the channel grows. Because you can make money on YouTube, believe me, you can make money on YouTube. No doubt about it, you can make a living on YouTube. And I've always said from day one, it's, 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 uh, it's my job, it's, uh, it's what I do. But I love to share as well, which is what it's all about, sharing. But uh, make a bit, a bit of money as well so I'm able to do what I'm doing.
but it would be nice to go abroad, Scandinavia, Pyrenees and all around there, go to Ireland for a year and do all that stuff. But uh, we need the channel to be a bit bigger before we can do that, get a little bit more income coming in. Get a pretty girl on your channel, yeah, Richard. <laughs> That'll do the trick, won't it? Uh, I know it's a bit sexist, but uh, it's the way of the world, ain't it? You know, a bit of flesh showing on a bloody clickbait, and uh, they get <laughs> bloody thousands of views. Bonkers, ain't it? Why the world, I'm afraid. The way of the world, the way of mankind, all a bit crazy. And all these crazy clickbaits, there are false clickbaits. You know, it's the end of the world and all that crap, where it, it's you look at the video, nothing's happened. Those do get on my nerves. I don't mind clickbait videos as long as it's true to what's in the video, as long as it's really happened. But you go into them, they say it's the end of the world or something at all, fire. You go into the video and it's nothing. Nothing's happened at all. Totally irre irrelevant clickbaits. But that's the way YouTube works, I'm afraid. They want you to play their game. Drama. We don't want drama. No one's interested in us old prunes. <laughs> nice, Richard. But uh, we'll get there. If it kills me, we'll get there. It's my ambition to get this channel as big as I can. And the only way I can do that is with you folks. Because, you know, just think what I can do if I had decent camera equipment and money to travel and do adventures like zip lining, parachuting, all sorts of canyon kayaking, all sorts of stuff like that I want to do before I'm too bloody old. <laughs> That'd be great, uh, those bloody mountains up there look bloody epic. You can see that folks, you can't see clear in the camera can you, just behind the VW. Those mountains up there are amazing, all the way around Christine that. Bloody epic down here at North Sennox. Right, this kettle's boiling. Uh, right, uh, I'm going to have to sign off, folks, because the battery's going to go on my iPhone any second now. I've had two warnings already that low battery. Uh, sorry about that. We ain't been on that long, have we? Uh, uh, 40 minutes. Oh, that's not long at all. Mind you, I might just uh, take off the iPhone and just let you have a look at that view for a bit and put you on charge. I'll take you off me on mic. But I'll pull my mic. What I'll do, it's all right with you guys. I'm going to pull the mic out. So you ain't gonna, I'm not going to be able to talk for a bit. And uh, oops a daisy, pull the mic out. I'm trying to get you around there so you've got a view down there. So I'm going to pull the mic out now, plug in my battery charger and just let the phone charge for a bit before we lose the stream, eh? So uh, I'll be back to you in a bit when I've had a cup of tea and uh, I might get the air fryer going. Honey roast pork chops, does that sound good? So uh, we're going to stay. We're going to keep rocking, guys. We're going to keep it going. Right, back in a bit. Right, I don't suppose you can hear me. I've unplugged my mic. I don't think the mic works on the iPhone. Can anyone hear me? Uh, can you hear me talking, guys? I've not got my uh, remote mic in. Is the iPhone mic working? It hasn't been working. Yes, yes. Oh, God, blind me. There you are. This iPhone, I tell you, it's been smashed to pieces. And uh, uh, the mic wasn't working on it before when I plugged in my charger. That's why I got the remote mic to go in for the live shows. It is working. Oh, brilliant day. It's right. We'll keep you rocking. We'll keep the show rolling then. Oh, that's good. So I might show you me cooking in the air fryer some honey roast. We'll see how that turns out, eh? You fancy that? Honey roast pork chops in the air fryer. It'll take about 10 to 15 minutes. I'll get that rocking and rolling, pull you inside the van in a minute. The sun's coming out now. Lovely. 
Da ist noch ein Ja, und das haben wir gerade gesehen. Ich habe die Kettle Ball in White in der Backline. Und ich habe die Bloody New Kettle. Because right now, we've worn that kettle. It's going to kill me one of these guys, I tell you. The major time I've left is on and done it. Hello, Stalls. Good evening, guys. One more welcome to the Sunday show. It's starting to piss down me rain, as bloody usual. Winter van life, you got to love it in Scotland. One second is lovely sunshine. Next second, it's affecting Hulu. And the Americans are getting drenched now. Getting clouded over, look. All the winds start to come through the trees. Oh, blimey. Blimey. The van has been rocking the last two days with uh, Storm Kathleen. Uh, it's only just starting to calm down a bit now. Oh, that wind starts up really hold now. Oh, can't just... Right, oh, sit there. To be a bit of an off decent view. Oh, that, oh, here comes the, oh, here comes the wind. Oh, here we go. Here comes another Scottish hula. I can't get you up now. The wind's coming in the bloody window now. Fuck me. What's going on? Drama. Live stream. Put you up by wild snowstorm. I know, David. Quick bait, quick bait. Drama. Help. We are dying, quick base. We nearly died on the island. Whoa, it's pretty surely coming in, guys. I'm going to have to bring you in. Because it's soaking. It's been worse and everything's blown everywhere. Is this the end of van life? <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, I see this guy, everyone else. Uh, hello, Christian. Good evening. Good afternoon. Welcome. It was lovely sunshine five minutes ago. It's absolutely pissing it down there. Right, I'm going to be the inside. Oh, blimey. Oh, my kettle's boiling away there. I'll tell you, that kettle's going to kill me. I, can't, I don't know any soil to keep the whistle. I haven't done any. I've had it for months. I keep money to get a new one. Oh, what a plunk of that. Just sit there. It's dry for them. Excuse me. My phone's are soaking a bit. Everything's soaking bloody wet now. Fuck me. Come on, Owen. What have you got them for you, Ernest? What's that? What's your name? Right, get a cup of tea on. Nice cup of tea. Nice cup of tea, warm me up. Yeah, quick face. Van Life, a dive in Storm Kathleen. Look at the video, I've just had a bit of rain. Typical quick bite, sorry. Oh, you can't look at it. Some of them are so amusing. Right, so we need to drop off our cages. Okay. We just try a bowl for the cages as well. You see if she's a cat, you know. She loves milk. Definitely dinner today. I haven't worked your dinner. The phone is going to be good. Right, I should take a cup of tea down. Why not with your dinner, guys? Okay. You're not hungry. You should yonk it down. I'll probably get a corn beef in it. I'm sure I'll be ready to eat it all. She's a fussy little man, I think she is. Oh, blimey, where are you? And look at that. The next minute. It's all clear. It's all sunny again. Life is good. We're not dead. We're not dying. We're still alive. I want to get this bloody. I've got the camera around the wrong way around here, but get you up a bit. Hold on to your coffin. Hold on to your purse. I want to sort you out. 
I'll have a look at comments in a bit, folks. Uh, how many we got in 16 or 17? I think about 30 or 40 popping in the moment. Uh, hopefully, you can still hear me. Lovely job, bit. I've got my uh, cup of tea in there. Lovely. That's a cup of yolk, yeah. Cheers. Here comes the sun, look. Oh, crazy weather. Crazy Scottish weather. We love it. That's why all the tourists die away in the winter. That's why we got the island to ourselves most of the time. There's a few on the island in the Easter week, but uh, they've all gone there. But I hid in the hills anyway for a few days. Oh, look at that nation. Oh, I've by that there now. Two minutes ago, it was a bloody hoolie. A Scottish hoolie. Hi. Oh, I'm shaking a bit with the wind still, the wind still trying to give it a go. Whistling through the van, I don't know if you can hear me, but uh. I hope you can hear me. Whoa! The bands are rocking. At least the rain stopped. For now. I think I saw my lane. I think most of the country. The wings anyway. Once I see the dolphins, they're around here. They've come in early this year. So uh, I know they're around the island on this side of the island, so hopefully I'll see them in the next few days and get some footage of them. That'd be pretty epic. Um, I've seen dolphins before, but I've never had them on film. I've not seen them. Uh, that was a few years ago. But uh, hopefully we'll get some more on Aaron. Uh, if I'm here till the end of the... Uh, I've got sun coming out now. Bloody blazing sunshine now. Crazy, eh? Yeah, so hopefully we'll get some footage of the dolphins for you in a future vlog. It should be good. I'm not sure whether I'm talking to myself here, whether you can hear me. My sound still okay. Hi Emma, has Emma come in? Somebody's just saying hello to Van to the memory. Hello Emma. I'll catch up on chat in a minute. I'm just sorting myself out. We just had a storm, a storm hit the van. Uh, cheers David, thank you. You can hear me good. Lovely job, Lee. Right, I'm just uh, I'll be with you in a bit. Bear with, she said, bear with. You guys hear the wind whistling? See that wind whistling through the van? Mm, it's so cool.
Hey Lindsay, I just saw Lindsay pop up there saying hello to M. I'll go and chat in a minute and check uh, who's there, folks. I know we've got over 20, and I think we've had 30, 40 come in in the last uh, 50 minutes or so. Yes, beautiful here, Lindsay. Absolutely cracking place. It's an ideal place for a van meet as well, isn't it? You get uh, three or four vans down here, have a nice little party, do a barbecue, eh? Jump in the river or in the sea, climb up the mountain, climb every mountain, pour every stream, follow every Someone. Yeah, we could have a country van meat test. We could have a country van life meat festival here at Certain North Channel. That'd be cool, wouldn't it? Uh, Been busy, but you're alright, Emma. Lovely. Not one of David's favourites. Why don't you like it here? It's bloody awesome. Lost Souls, uh, we were on the same site back in January. All right, Emma, you saw Lost Souls. Uh, uh, lag or La Crenza? Favourite La Crenza is lovely, isn't it? Lag, nice lag. Do you like lag? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yes, let's do it, Stephen Van, uh, Emma. The country van life. Meet uh, festival, camper van festival. Maybe cracking. You get you get ten vans in here, I think. Might be probably upset a few people, but. <laughs> it's, uh, all right. Uh, right, here we are. Wait, just checking on chat there. Uh, uh, I am Mike Mick. Hey there, Mick. Lovely mixing the show. The light, night, light show. Lovely member. Thank you, Mick. How you doing, bro? Nice to see you in the show. We're here on a uh, place called North Channel. We're trying to find the dolphins. They're out there somewhere. I'm going to park up here for a few days and try and hunt them down. How you doing, Mick? Nice to see you, bro. Yeah, and not park up at uh, yes, the distillery. Oh, the distillery. Oh, I see the link now, Lindsay. Whiskey to the link. Uh, I Pam. Uh, Facebook messaged you earlier, but now I've managed to get back into chat. Just saying, uh, I while I'm here, uh, message you to more, but uh, basically, okay. yeah, I thought a bit about that. I'm one of your vlogs, sir. Uh, Pam, yeah, you need to get to a second hand shop uh, or a phone shop, and they might be able to sort it for you. Lots of cheap iPads out there. So, hopefully, you get vlogging soon. I know it's a pain when you lose your vlogging device. When I've lost my phone in the past, it's uh, the end of the bloody world. But uh, hopefully you get that sorted, Pam. Uh, David saying hello to Pam. Colin, good evening, brother. How you doing, Mucka? Colin's in the house. Uh, Tino saying hello to Pam. And uh, Lindsay saying hello to Pam as well, hoping uh, you get safe in the north of wind. Yeah. Storm's Kathleen. It's been a bit of a windy one, to say the least. My van has been on two wheels for the last two, two and a half days. But it's supposed to be calming down tomorrow. It's a good sign. So, uh, do some adventures tomorrow, hopefully, get me drone up and everything, have a walk around the coast. Uh, hello, Pam. Lovely jubbly. Right, I think I might get my air fryer rocking and rolling and do some honey roast uh, pork chops on the live stream. Should we do that? Yeah, you know, versatile these uh, air fryers are, especially a low wattage one. Hi, David. Uh, now looking for a place, but uh, couldn't get anything to happen. Uh, uh, that's very bit personal. In this uh, off that road. And that wind's whistling through. I've got this window open. Uh, not, not cold. Maybe still, but uh, at least it's not bloody minus 26. What should I think? Thank you, that's a little bit forward. Uh, 
thousands of birds down there on the um, wee burn, rocking into the sea there. Thousands of birds. So hopefully I'll get, I can get the bloody dolphins on film. That'd be epic, wouldn't it? I can get those dolphins on film. Why is that kid doing that? The gorilla pod's flying off. Yeah, I think uh, Storm Kathleen has hit most of the country. Uh, night before last, flying out O'Reilly. Don't think they've got a winch fleet. So I went for a walk on the beach, like I do. Well, I wouldn't say walk, it was more or less blown down the beach. And the sky was like a kite on the end of a, on the end of a lead. Now, my mic on the iPhone's crap at the moment, uh, Mike. I've had to unplug my remote mic because I need to charge the iPhone, otherwise I'll lose the screen. Because I can't plug my um, remote mic in and a power supply in at the same time. So I've got my power supply in at the moment. That's why the mic is not really clear. This iPhone's back in once I've got a bit of energy back into the iPhone. Once I've topped it up for uh, 20 minutes, I'll plug the uh, remote mic back in. The sound will be a lot better. So I might bring you inside the van in a minute anyway, because uh, it will be, uh, the, the uh, sun will be dropping over the mountains behind me uh, soon, down to the west behind me, so it'll start getting a bit darker soon. My sounds are usually far more dulcet. <laughs> Here's my mic. Yeah, I'll put, I'll put the mic back in in a bit once we've got a bit of power into the iPhone. Try and charge it up for 10 minutes. And I'll bring you inside and we'll do a bit of uh, air fryer cooking. A bit of light. So the first thing I'll do when the channel gets a bit bigger and I'm earning a bit more money from it is uh, buy some decent vlogging equipment, decent cameras and stuff. So we won't have to suffer with all this uh, crappy. Uh, Emma saying last I was in, are you uh, YouTubers? Uh, we would have come over and said hello. Yeah, the YouTubers left all. So check all these channels out, folks, if you've not seen them or heard of them before, they've seen chat. Uh, especially when the uh, stream is up on replay after the show, all the live chat will come back after 24 hours on the replay video. So if you go...
and eyes. I've plugged my uh, mic back in because uh, I don't think you're hearing me with the uh, iPhone mic. Bloody thing. Need to invest in a new bloody iPhone. Uh, hopefully you should be able to hear me again now, uh, guys. Uh, I think you lost my uh, my voice uh, the last few minutes by the look of it. Talking away here and nobody can hear me. But you uh, should be able to hear me now. I've got my uh, remote mic plugged back in. Not sure how much the uh, battery will do. Uh, cheers, Timo. Thanks, mate. Yeah, I think the, uh, the iPhone mic is erratic. OK, I need to talk to Craig. He may point me a different way. The sound's more like just the battery. Yeah, it's a shame I'm not with you, Pam, so I would have sorted that for you. But uh, you probably do best just getting a second-hand iPad. You can get them cheap as chips now. On eBay or whatever, or one of these swap shops. Whoops, a daisy. Right, I'm going to pull you inside the van now, and uh, we're going to do a bit of cooking, I think. Uh, loud and clear now, Stephen. Thanks, Lindsay. Yeah, I've got my, my mic back in now. Not sure how much the battery will last. I might have to plug the battery back in if the low battery light comes on again and you'll lose my voice, but hey-ho. We'll, I'll get you in the van, set up in the van and we'll do some cooking. I'll just finish my cup of tea first. Lovely jibbly. I might have a dip in the uh, in that river down there tonight before bedtime. That'd be nice. I prefer going in the uh, fresh water than salt water. I don't mind salt water cold swimming, but uh, I prefer fresh water cold swimming than salt water. Because I can take a bit of shampoo and soap and have a good old wash, a good old scrub down. Uh, filled all my tanks up yesterday, my water tanks, got some new gas, got some supplies. Cotton chips for you tonight. Oh, nice. Lovely. There's only one fish shop on the island, I think, and that's uh, at Brodick. They're quite nice, actually. Oh, it's only about cat. Oops, it is, eh? Yeah, I'll have some crusty bread and some uh, nice pork chops with uh, one of my uh, homemade glazes on it. And see how that does in the air fryer. I'm pretty sure it'll turn out perfect. I've not tried pork chops yet in there, so we'll try that tonight. So I might buy a half shoulder of lamb tomorrow and uh, try that I do fancy a bit of lamb a bit of lamb with plenty of fat on it lovely oh the mountains are looking mysterious in the uh, the mist up there that VW is still there I think they've gone for a walk I'll probably go later look at those mountains up there lovely it's a lovely peaceful camp this is Lovely peaceful camp. I went over the mountain B road. There's three uh, roads that pass over the island. You've got the two main roads, the String and the uh, Ross. And there's a B road from, where was it from? Was it from Lamlash over to Brodick, I think it was, on the uh, southern end of the island. And that's a B road, and that's one hell of a road, I tell you. You're just going uphill for about six miles, just total steep going up. Uh, Christine got up there, bless her. She managed it, but uh, that was a beautiful mountain pass. Lovely. And I actually met uh, one of the uh, gritting lorries up there that I met a few months ago that helped me out on another mountain pass that brought me some diesel. 
Uh, he was up there, he, he, I passed him, I had to pull over and we squeezed by and uh, we stood there having a chat in the middle of the road for ages. <laughs> so lovely to see him again. He got me out of the pickle months ago when I run out of pe petrol in the snow up on one of the passes. But that road from Lamlash, I think it's Lamlash to Brodick, it's amazing. It's like a kind of a logging road, B road. It's only one traffic, one lane with passing places, but it was an epic road. But by golly, is it a climb up that one? I don't think Christine was going to make it. I think it was more or less second gear for about five miles. But uh, that's all the roads that I've done now, I think, on the island. There's a few more logging roads that I want to do. They have got signs up that no traffic, but, uh, you know, mate, I'll go up them. There is one down at the back end of Lamlash that I want to go up and try. That goes right across the island, the logging road, so I'm going to try that one before I leave. Still not seeing any squirrels. Still not found a red squirrel. But uh, when the weather gets warmer, we will hopefully they'll be a bit more active. Apparently, whoa, whoa, the van's bouncing. Apparently the deer coming down onto this meadow in front of me here. The red deer have been seen in this meadow right in front of me. So that'd be cool if one came down early morning. Hi Sally, Mike, how you doing? Warm welcome guys. I thought everyone had fallen asleep. How you doing Sally, Mike? Nice to see you. Here you go, there's another channel to check out folks, uh, all those in chat. Go and check out um, I thought I saw something crawling to my left then uh, in the grass. I don't know what that was. Looked like a bloody stout or something, or a mink. Uh, yeah, go and check out uh, Sally and Mike, a van called Sally and Mike. Go and check them out, see what they're up to. Give them some support and a subscribe if you can. Ask the deer if they know of any squirrels. I <laughs> know, David. I'm struggling with these squirrels, but uh, we'll get them before we leave. David saying hello to Mike and Sally. Lovely. Uh, watching whilst we eat our Sunday nut roast. Nice. Lovely. I've never had a sun. I've never had a, a, a nut roast. I'd like to try one. You know, I'm a I'm a meat man. I am. You know, I'd chew on a live cow's bloody leg. I would. But uh, I'd like to try this uh, kind of alternative food. And uh, the uh, nut roast sounds nice. Charles is in the house. She's in the house. How you doing, Charlie? Nice to see you, Mucka. What are you up to, Charlie? Anything? You've been up to anything at the weekend? We're going to have some Van Tucker cooking in a minute, Charlie. I'm going to slap slap some nice pork chops that I've got from the local butcher. Put a load of glaze on them, honey nut glaze and peppers and some nice virgin olive oil and throw them in the air fryer. Ten minutes and we'll see what we've got. Hiya Mary, Mary's in the house. Good evening Mary. How's your weekend been sugar? Lovely to see you on the Sunday live. Uh, David's saying hello to Mary as well. Lovely. Right, I might have to take my mic out in a bit and plug my auxiliary battery charge back in, otherwise we're going to lose the stream. But uh, we'll keep rocking. I'm going to bring you in the van in a minute and I'm going to do some cooking. Uh, just chilling uh, with the dog. Lovely. Old Sky is fast asleep on the captain's seat at the moment. We've been for a nice walk today, Charlie, so she's uh, knackered. Let her out on the lead again, off the lead. She loves to have a gallivant around. Uh, thank you for the plug, Stephen. Very much appreciate. No problem, Mike, Sally. We all need a helping hand, don't we? Because YouTube don't help us push our channels, do they? They don't encourage younger, you know, small YouTubers at all. We have to try and work our nuts off to grow. 
Hi, David and Lindsay from uh, Mary. Lovely job, Lee. Had a good weekend, just chilling, Mary. Nice. Hopefully that bloody winds have gone and uh, Storm Kathleen has left us alone for a bit. It's supposed to be calmer tomorrow and I'll get out and do a bit of a... I want to try and get up there if I can. Up the mountains, get up there with my drone. That'd be nice. Go for a nice long hike to the top of Mount. I've still got to get to the top of uh, Goat Fell. I'll be doing that in the next uh, week or so. That'd be a nice vlog, climbing up to the top of Goat Fell. Been very windy here today, you know. I think it's been all over the country, isn't it, this storm? Is it Kathleen? I think it was Kathleen. Right, I need to sort myself out now. I'm going to put Mount you in the van somewhere and um, we're going to do some cooking. Yeah, same here, Steve. Uh, been for a five-mile walk. Great, but the dog is knackered. <laughs> it's the best way to tire them out, isn't it, Charlie? Take them for a long walk, let them off the lead for 20 minutes and then they, they soon have a kip, don't they? So it'd be nice to see a deer come in here tonight, wouldn't it? On the video, that'd be nice. A nice red deer, I love the red deer, they are lovely. That owl that I filmed the other day, I'm going to try and get closer to, try and get her filmed in the day if I can. Trying to film them at dusk is very difficult, as you saw in my last video, trying to film the owl. But uh, what a beautiful bird they are, the owls, especially the barn owl, I love them. Beautiful birds, the silent, Silent assassins, the silent ghosts. So that was my last video, the owls. If you've not seen that one, we do a video Monday, Wednesday, Saturday, normal vlogs and a live on a Sunday. So five uploads a week, four uploads a week. And uh, we have a few shorts in between as well. No needed for my dogs, uh, she's fully trained. No lead for our eyes. Yeah, I'm getting close to it now with no lead. She doesn't run off now like she used to at all. So we're getting there with her, Charlie. We're getting there with her. She comes to my command now, which is good. But it all takes time training it, especially these uh, street dogs, these rescue street dogs. They do take a bit of training because you don't know what they've been through in their lives uh, before you know you take them on. I'm just staring at the mountains up there now. I can see the peaks, which is lovely. It'd be nice to climb to the top of one of them, but uh, it's all crag and shingle. I'm not sure I'll be able to get up there. Just looking at that mountain there, guys. As you can see, it's all crag and shingle on the way up. Unless I go along the ridge line there from the right, from the left to the right. I don't know. But if I can't climb it, I'll get the bloody drone up there. Oh, it's, the wind has died. The birds are singing. The whistling wind has gone. All of a sudden, be back in a minute. Oh. Sun, sun is starting to settle over the mountains back there to the west behind me. Lovely, got a bit of blue sky. It's all gun calm. Is it calm before the storm again? As it is on, in Scotland. <laughs> right, I might have my breakfast on that bench there tomorrow morning. Keeping an eye out for the dolphins. Hopefully they'll come by and I'll get them on film for you folks. Right, let's do some cooking. Let's do some cooking. If I get low battery come up, I'll have to take my mic out again. Right, I'll don't eat choppins because I'm going to bring you inside the van. We'll close that window because it's uh, now that sun's settling down. It's starting to get a wee bit chilly. Oh, here's Sky fast asleep on the captain's seat. She loves that seat there. Every morning when we wake up and I open the curtain, she's in there. 
because a cab, especially on a Sunday day, is the warmest place in the van in the morning. It's probably the coldest place of the night, but in the morning when the sun's on the windows, and she knows it, there she is. What are you doing, Sky? What are you doing, Sky? Oh, look at her. She's fast asleep, look. She's got a pause over her eyes. Oh, she can hear me talking. Oh, I'll have to stop collecting these bloody skulls and bloody horns and everything. I've got loads from Mommy Van now. See that skull there, that uh, ram skull? I'm going to uh, varnish that and put it on top of my van where my other ram's horns are on the top of the van by the spotlight. Lovely jubbly. Oh, we zoomed in there. Here's Mick Tilly. I eat a load of fastest food to eat is fruit. It's quite healthy as well, I suppose. So I eat a load of fruit, especially oranges. I'll probably eat three or four oranges a day. Right, just look through the cab. Here's my bed. Got all my junk on my bed at the moment, as it is in van life. Right. Uh, oops, like you say, where are we going? Yeah, and we'll, we'll start doing some cooking. Here's my uh, Christine, my lovely girl. God bless her. Do miss that girl? Oh, my curtains fell down there. What's going on there? It's only on Velcro. I'll put that back up. Uh, got loads of power into my uh, systems. Now, we've had sun all day today. I've had my pal out as well. Let's charge my um, 2000 uh, power station in two hours. Look at the sun coming out now, blimey. It's lovely out there now. There's a walk up to the uh, fallen rocks up there. Lovely jubbly. What a lovely view, eh? What a lovely place. Right, I'm going to spin you around. Uh, hold on, I'll turn the camera around, bear with me. Get ready for a shot because you're going to see my ugly mug. Bash, here we go. Right, so I'll put you up there because I'm going to start getting dinner prepared. Bit of uh, country van tucker, put you up there. This gorilla, this gr gorilla stand is brilliant because you can put them anywhere, just wrap the legs around anything. Take my bloody hat off. Why am I wearing my hat in my van? I do not know. Take my coat off because it's. Uh, it's warmed up a bit now, I'll shut that window. We'll do a bit of cooking now. Eh? Do some country van tucker. I've got some nice, uh, I've got a nice crusty tiger loaf as well. We'll have it with my supper. Right, I need to go up there. My cooler box is up there. My fridge is still not working. Uh, I'll give it one more turn upside down. And if that doesn't work, I'll have to get rid of it and find another one. Uh, it'd be nice to invest in a compressor fridge. Uh, I know there's some quite cheap ones out there and there. Say cheap, they're still 250 bloody quid. So I might have to bite the bullet and uh, get one of those for next winter, uh, for summer. In the winter, it's not too bad. You can, I've just got a call box down there, a low volt call box, which does the trick for winter. But uh, come summer, I'm going to need that bloody fridge. So I'll have to sort that out. Right, Stephen, what are we doing? Air fryer. This is my little tiny two liter air fryer. Lovely jubbly, simple, two buttons, heat, timing. No bells and whistles, no bloody electronics. Just plug it in and fire it up. Right. Oh, well, look at the sunshine now. Blimey, I'm bleeding Riley. It is blazing out there now, the sun. The wind's still hacking now. Uh, I'll have a come and chat in a minute, check up on chat in a minute. I wish I had my uh, iPad running so I could look at chat and have that running at the same time because I have to look at the screen for chat. If I had a separate iPad running, I could see your chat, folks, but uh, I ain't got that bloody luxury at the moment. Right. Right. Right, said Fred. Now, uh, that's not going to reach there, is it? Oh, it will. Right, let's put my kettle there for a minute. Out to where? Put my air fryer there on the cooker. I haven't used this cooker in about uh, two weeks. Be cooking everything in this thing, in this little baby. Right, we'll plug her in to one of my power stations. Here 
There we go. Make sure that's nice and safe on there. Nice and sturdy. Yep, yep, we got power. So it's only a small drawer, but that's big enough for me. So it's two litre. It's uh, more than big enough for me. And you've got a griddle pan there. There's a griddle pan at the bottom as well. But it's best to get liners because you don't have to clean it then. No cleaning as well. No, it doesn't cost you, cost you nothing to power it because it's all free energy off my van. So nothing to power it. Don't have to use gas no more. Don't have to clean it either. Can you just put one of those greaseproof linings inside before you start cooking? So no cleaning, no gas, no energy, no cost to cook. Air fryers, that's the bloody future. We'll have a lot more videos on cooking with air fryers. Right, let's just get over here. Bear with me, mate. Just jump down and find uh, me chops. Uh, what have I done with them? There they are. Right. Oh, I've got some nice uh, local pork chops here. I'll check up on chatting with folks, bear with me. Just get these rocking and rolling. <coughs> they'll only take uh, 10 minutes in the uh, 10 minutes in the air fryer and they'll be done. So it cooks your food twice as quick as uh, you don't have to put your gas on and wait for it to warm up and use a load of bloody gas cooking. As I say, it's free. I'm using all my free power. So it's not costing me a bean to cook. Which is magic, right? Let's get, get me cooking area nice and clean. I have washed my hands, but uh, just me cooking, so it don't really matter. Get one of these lovely uh, pork chops. Oh, look at those! I like I like chops with a bit of a, a bit of fat on there. What we do? Just a bit of sea salt, a bit of seasoning, and on the other side as well. Lovely. And we'll have this uh, done in 10 minutes, hopefully. Bit of nice cracked black pepper, loads of pepper, loads and loads of pepper. It's one side. Cook with country, eh? Cook with country. Country van tucker, can't beat it. Best part of living in a van, you, you really look forward to cooking because it's probably, you know, when, especially when you're stuck in a van for days in bad weather, it's what you look forward to, meal time. Right, we've got that rocking and rolling in there. Just step over here. Uh, I do like nice uh, oil. oil. you got to get a quality oil and there's lots of flavour in oil, you know, not just bloody vegetable oil or whatever. Uh, get yourself invest in a nice oil. Okay, they're about four or five quid a bottle, but I've got a nice uh, rapeseed oil there. Lovely stuff, and there's so much flavour, especially rapeseed oil. Beautiful stuff. So I'm just going to drizzle a little bit of that, rub that in with all that uh, seasoning on there. Oh, look at the colour of that rapeseed oil. It's like honey, it is. Right, get that on there. Lovely. So that's well seasoned. Uh, what I need now is some, get some honey on there. Oops, a daisy. Right. Honey, honey. Oh, sugar, sugar. Where is my honey girl? Here it is. Got some nice uh, squeezy clear honey. We're going to get some of that on there. Lovely jubbly. And uh, I'm not going to put any grease proof paper. I'm going to put some tin foil uh, on the, see the top griddle there, the raised griddle. Oh, we've uh, just got low battery come up there, poo. Uh, I'm just going to put some tin foil on the uh, top griddle there. And uh, that'll do for, um, that'll keep the pan clean as well. Uh, where's my file? Oh, blimey. Now what I'll do, I've got some of this greaseproof lining. I'll put that in the bottom of my uh, air fryer. That'll catch all the fat. I'll put the griddle plate down and then we'll just slap on the griddle there. Put some money on the top. Lovely jubbly. All nicely seasoned. There we go. I've got greaseproof paper underneath to catch any of the grease, and there's the chop inside the uh, air fryer. Right. 
lock that inside. Bang, bish, bash, bosh. Put the timer on for, we'll go for 12 minutes and we'll put it on 170, 180. There we go, that's rocking. That is rocking off my power station, which I've charged up today through the solar panel. So completely free energy to cook. Don't have to use my gas no more. That's going to save me a lot of money. Right, just tidy up my uh, working area. Put my honey away. Get some nice crusty buttered bread done. Lovely jubs, eh? Just put that, I've got another pork chop for tomorrow. Put that away in my cooler box. There we go. Air fryer, it's the future. <laughs> I love it, it works a dream in a van. Especially low wattage air fryers. How many have we got in? Uh, 16, 17 in the house, lovely. What we're saying there, so just put my glasses on to see what you're talking. Trouble is when you're on your own, it's hard to keep up with chat. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, Charlie, have you tried a proper dog whistle with her? I think I've got a dog whistle somewhere. I'm sure I've got one somewhere. I'll have to try that. I haven't tried that, Charlie. Uh, but she usually comes to my command, not too bad. I think I will get an air fryer. Sounds good. You did that excellent, Mary. Honestly, I'll do a lot more videos on air fryer cooking just to show you the versatility of the air fryers. They're a game changer in van because you don't have to use your bloody gas. Uh, Sally and Mike... Uh, have a new follow -up. Brilliant. Cheers, David. Uh, followers, my fingers are, are sacked. <laughs> uh, and mine. Trying to bloody type on those phones, eh? Uh, same. Lovely jubbly. I uh, hope you can all still hear me. I've just had low battery come on there, so... There we go. Got another nine minutes on there. We'll see how it's doing after nine minutes. Uh, I think I'll have to plug my uh, phone back in there, folks. I'll just get one of my uh, smaller power stations. Bear with me. I've got my 600 power station here. Uh, I'll plug my iPhone into there. But uh, you're going to lose the mic for a bit, unless the mic's not working on the iPhone. So you will lose the mic for a bit while I'm doing this cooking. So just bear with. Right, let's plug this into the power station. Put it on DC. Lovely jubbly, DC connected. Right, I'm going to unplug the mic now, so you may not hear me talking if the iPhone mic's still bloody knackered. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So I'm going to unplug the remote mic now, this one that's on my chest here, and plug in my battery, because the battery's going, and I don't want to lose the live stream. Right, hold on to you,
Right, so plug the iPhone mic back in, the remote mic back in, because you can't hear me. I'll plug the battery in there for a few minutes, but I'll probably get low battery again in a minute, so I'll have to keep juggling this mic in and out. You, you can probably hear me now. Lovely, just getting a nice cup of uh, Yorkshire tea ready as well to have with my dinner. And uh, I've got some nice tiger bread here to have with my uh, pork chop. Hopefully this pork chop, I've never cooked a pork chop in the uh, air fryer before, so, uh, but uh, I'm pretty confident it'll turn out. Okie dokie. Oh, nice crusty roll to have with my pork chop. Lovely. I do like crusty bread. And I spread my butter like cheese. I love butter. <laughs> Not very healthy, but hey -o. Oh, that's, I can smell that pork chop. It's smelling very nice. Let's just have a quick peek. Oh, I say. Oh, I say, Charlie. I'll just turn that over. And uh, I'm just going to turn that down a wee bit. Give that another five minutes. Uh, it takes a bit of getting used to the uh, timing and everything and the temperatures on these things because they're all bloody different. Uh, but once you get used to it, it works a dream. Absolutely works a dream. Cooking bacon in these and sausages are absolutely amazing. A joint, whatever. Breakfast, cakes. I'm going to do some bacon as well. I'll do some van bread, make my own bread. I'll do that in the air fryer as well. I'll show you all that in future videos, how to make bread. And uh, we'll do some cakes as well, some sponges and all sorts like that. All in the air fryer. Okay, it's free energy for me in my van with my solar or anything, but if you're in a home, uh, it's still cheaper to run an air fryer than a cooker because you're using about 6% more energy using an air fryer than a cooker. So uh, you can still save money if you're in bricks and mortar with one of these things. And it's looking lovely out there tonight. I don't know where those two have gone. They've vanished. Whether they've gone to sleep, I don't know. Right. Slice me bread up. Do a bit for Sky as well. Sky does love bread and butter. Lovely. Get that ready. Keep me on that pork chop. I don't want it to uh, cook too quickly. Keeps uh, these air fryers as well. They keep everything nice and moist as well, which is lovely. You know, chicken can dry up uh, in an oven, but uh, they, it works a lot better in these. They, they keep the moisture in there for some reason. Nice right, to get some butter out. Out of me uh, cooler box. Where's my bloody butter? Is that? Oh. <laughs> Some nice local butter as well. Just have a wee peep of this. Oh, I'll put a little bit more honey on there as well, just before the end. Get some butter on this lovely crusty bread. Can you smell that? Chop cooking the sky. Sky's woke up now. In there in the captain's seat, she's woke up. She can smell the chop cooking and it smells bloody delicious. I did sky some dinner, but she's not at it today for some reason. I don't know why she's not at that today. I mean, she will eat it, she's just probably not hungry at the moment. Right, that's my bread and butter done. Ready to have one with my chop. I've got some apple sauce as well. Pop that back in my cooler box. Lovely jabbly. Get your plate ready.
It's a bit of a squeeze in a camper van sometimes, but you get used to uh, working. You get used to work, working around everything. Put me bread on there. That's all done. We'll get a cup of tea rocking and rolling as well. Loads of bread. I would have some nice uh, beans, some curry beans or something with this, but uh, we'll just have a chop for tonight. Let's right, just uh, have a bit of a tidy down. That sun is blazing out there now. Ought to be on the beach, cooking this. Ought to be out there on the bloody beach. A bit of a barbecue. Sun is blazing. I'll check up on chat in a minute. I don't know whether you're all still there. Watching me cooking. I don't know whether that's uh oh. That is looking nice. Let's turn that up for a bit more. About another five minutes and that'll be rocking and rolling. Right, I'm just gonna move this over there because I want to get the kettle on. Now yeah, that's a bit close. I'll just put just pop you down there. Doesn't get hot either, this doesn't, this air fryer. Some of, some of them get really hot. Sit there. Good. Get the kettle on, mother. Kettle's on, mother. I'm done with my lighter. It's gorgeous out there tonight. End of storm, Kathleen. It is absolutely beautiful. All the uh, golden yellow gorse is golden shining in the sunlight out the window. Right, kettle's our mother. Nice cup of Yorkshire. Right, I'll check up on chat in a minute. I might have a Guinness tonight. It's that time of day. It's Guinness o'clock. Right, another three, four minutes on that. We'll get it out and we'll see what it's doing. Have a munch on one of these. Not one of this guy. Come here. Yeah. Come on. This way. Come on. Come on. Oh, you're not, sir. Come on. Come on, then. <coughs> Come on. She does like a freshly crusty bread and butter. She loves it. Another one for you. Kettle's nearly boiled. Certainly don't need my heater in this weather. As soon as the weather goes to 10 degrees, I know it's not that warm, but uh, you don't have to put your heater on 10 degrees in the van. Not my van anyway, because she keeps nice and warm. But anything below 10 degrees, I have to put it on just for the dog more than anything, because she does shiver. Right. Now, what did I do with that bloody apple sauce? I think I'll have a bit of mustard as well. I've got some apple sauce somewhere. Right, another minute and that'll be done. We'll have a look. Look outside. Oh, we can open the door, look. Open the door now, the wind's gone. Oh, it's bloody lovely out there. Bloody beautiful. Right, let's have a look what's going on here. Ping. Right, that's it. About, about 12 minutes, got low battery light on again. Got low battery light on again there. Bugger. I'm going to have to plug my, uh, my battery back in and take the mic out again now. We've just gone ping on the uh, air fryer. Took about 12 minutes for a pork chop. It'd probably take you 12 minutes to warm your oven up to do a pork chop or a frying pan or whatever. There you go, we'll take that out. Oh, oh, that looks nice. Oh, I can hear it sizzling. 
Let's have a look. Oh, that just smell nice. Oh. Right, I'll just put it on there, let that rest for a bit. The uh, parchment paper, the grease proof paper has caught all the fat in there, so I won't have to clean that out. Just throw the parchments out. You get about 100 sheets of these for a couple of quid. They keep your air fry nice and clean, so you don't have to do much cleaning. Right, we'll just let that, uh, just show you my pork chop, guys. Uh, excuse the butter on my bread. I do like a lot of butter, but just show you there. Don't you can see that. Well, you can't see that very well. But uh, that pork chop looks bloody divine. Now, like, oi, 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 come here. Sky. <coughs> Sky's just run out of the van. Nice, this guy. I'll have to go and get her. Yeah, like with all meats, guys, just put it to one side for five minutes, let it rest and relax. Then it becomes tender. I've got to go and get Sky. Bear with me. Sky. Oi, oi, come here. Sky. Little monkey. How you doing, you right? Yeah. Sky, come here. Come here. Cheers. Sky, come on. Good girl. Oh, she came to me. I don't know if you can hear me, guys, on the mic. But uh, she's walking up the road. And I said, come here. And she come to me. Right, inside. Go on. Back in. Go on. Good girl. Little bloody monkey. But she come, to, she come to me when I called her. Which is good stuff. Right. Kettle's... Nearly boiled, dinner's nearly ready. I'll have a bit of mustard on that pork chop. Just a wee bit. Lovely jubbly. Right, are you boiled? Right, that battery's gonna go in a minute, so I'm gonna have to plug you in. I'm gonna munch on my chop anyway. But so uh, we'll keep live going if I can. I'll just plug my battery in and you. Uh, bear with me. So I'm going to take the mic out, so you, I won't have no sound for the next few minutes. So if you're still watching, hey ho, uh, I'll plug you back in the mic in a minute. Hold on, Tinnikers.
All right, I'll plug the mic back in. Got a bit of charge into the phone. I'll share how long it will last. Oh, that's a bit crooked, isn't it? Oh. This pork chop, I tell you. Took about 12 minutes, I think, in the air fryer. And it's bloody delicious, juicy, moist, tender. It absolutely falls off the knife. My knife's not that sharp, but it slices it perfect. And it's delicious. Loads of seasoning. That lovely rapeseed oil on there with some nice honey, some cracked black pepper, cracked salt. Bloody delicious. Absolutely divine. Oh. Just like a barbecue chop. I mean, it was nice on the barbecue when I did them the other day on the barbecue with the coal fire. It's just as nice in the air fryer. Look at that. Crispy, golden, caramelised. Beautiful. I know there's some uh, non-eat meters out there that are probably are gagging at this, I don't know, but... Sorry, I'm a meat eater. Where are they going? The car just pulled in there. That is bloody lovely. So, look at that, just slicing with this blunt knife in an air fryer. Nice and moist, delicious. It's the first time I've cooked um, a pork chop in the uh, air fryer. So I've been using my air fryer for the last two weeks and everything that I've cooked the last two weeks has been in the air fryer. Everything from breakfast, sausage, chips, cakes, bread. That is bloody lovely. some of this guy. Eh? Come here. Oh, I can't jump over there. We can't even the battery. Uh, that might jump out in a minute. I might lose my battery. Come on, Sky. Come on. Go over there. Down here. Yeah. Have some pork chop. Lovely jubbly. Oh, I could taste the pepper as well. That bloody uh, lovely rapeseed oil. Lovely flavouring rapeseed oil. That is melting in your mouth. Couldn't wish for a better pork chop. You know, sometimes you do them in a frying pan and they're a bit tough. But this is lovely. Don't forget, let your meat rest. You must let your meat rest. Then it becomes tender. So all the sinews have got a chance to relax. I've just had the low battery come up again. Just had low battery come up again, so I may, may cut the stream here. I'll have a look on chat in a minute and uh, we'll sign this one off, I think. Just put that one there for a minute. Just bring you over here. Oh! Oh, lovely jubbly. Uh, thanks for coming, guys. That's lovely. That pork chop is amazing. Absolutely stunning, that is. Air fryer. I'll do a lot more videos on air fryers on my channel. Just to show the, uh, the actual versatility of these things. Look at the sun out there now. It is glowing. Wow. It is absolutely beautiful out there now. Look at that. Oh, I'm going for a walk. I'm going to go for a swim. After my supper, I'll have a Guinness. I'll have a can of Guinness. It's that time of day. Guinness o'clock. I might have a can of Guinness and go for a swim. Let's just turn that camera around and I'll have a look on chat. Uh, where are we? Have a look on chat, then we'll sign this one off, folks. It's Sunday Live. It's been lovely. Thanks for coming in. There's a couple of people popped out the blue. Now the sun's out. One or two people knocking around. Just put you on your knee there, and we'll have a look at chat in a minute while I carry on munching my uh, chop on the side. Lovely jubbly. Right. Uh, let's have a look. Where are we on chat? Put my glasses on. Where's my bleeding glass? I can never find anything in this bloody van. You think in a small van you'd be able to find stuff, but sometimes I lose stuff and it takes me two weeks to find it. Uh, right. Uh, where are we? Let's just have a look. Uh, just try and catch up what you've been saying on chat. You've all been talking to each other. Lovely jubbly. Follow each other. Don't forget, guys. Go and check each other's channels out. I escape. Good evening, bro. Warm welcome to country. 
Uh, sound's back on now. I've got my remote mic back in. We've been in and out with sound because uh, I have to charge my iPhone while I take my mic out and all that business. So welcome, Skip. How you doing? Sent you a photo of the uh, splitter for your mic. All right. Oh, cheers, Timo. Oh, love. Look at that, mate. Watch your Tony. How's Liverpool doing, Mucker? Hi, Tony from David. Uh, I Skip from Mary. Lovely jubbly. Uh, I uh, David from Tony. Uh, Tony saying hello to everyone else as well. Uh, Mary to Skip, lovely jubbly. I Tony from Mary. Uh, Timo saying hello to Tony. Uh, she's after the chop sky. Yeah. Uh, hello, Stu. Dawn's travels in the house. It's another lovely channel. Go and check them out, folks. Stu and Dawn's uh, travels. Good friends of mine. Uh, big hugs to you too, uh, Stu. How are you doing? Uh, love to Dawn. Uh, they're over in Ireland at the moment. Uh, I Stu and Dawn from David. Uh, black skies here. It's lovely here. Oh, it's going to be gloomy again now, or in the blink of an eye. But uh, it's lovely. Right, I'll have to shine this one off soon, folks. Uh, thanks for coming into the Sunday live show tonight. I think we've had about 50 people coming in out during the night. Uh, we've done a bit of um, Tucker cooking. We've had a bit of a walkabout uh, by the river. And um, I'll do uh, a few videos from this uh, lovely uh, site here where I'm at at the moment. Which well, is not a site, it's a wild camp. I only do wild camps, don't do sites, as you know. Uh, this lovely uh, wild camp at uh, Sanox North Bay in Sanox Glen, which is the northwest of the island, north of um, Arran, uh, north of Brod Brodick, and it's a lovely place. We'll do a few more videos on this place. So you all take care. Thanks for coming in, everybody. It's been lovely to see you on the live again. It always is. I do love looking forward to my live shows where I can interact on a personal level with you guys. It's lovely. So you all take care, Lindsay, David, uh, Sally and Mike, you take care, guys, Mary as well, Stu and Dawn, uh, who else is there, uh, Timo as well, Skip, uh, Tony, bro, uh, lovely jubbly. Uh, and we'll sign this one off, I think, folks, because I think the battery's going to die and I don't want to lose the stream. Uh, where are we? Uh, bye, Stephen, this guy. Bye, everyone as well. Have a good week. And you, Mary, uh, Tony, Drew, too, too. Oh, blimey. Uh, I've been out of sight in the first half. Liverpool had so many chances and fluffed them. United get jammy goal late. Oh, bugger. Oh, never mind. Think you're still top, Tony. Uh, take care. Stay safe, everyone. From David. Lovely. Kimberly's in the house. Hey, Kimberly. How you doing, sweetheart? Uh, I'm going to sign off in a minute, Kimberly, because my battery is about to go on my iPhone. I've been plugging it in and out all night uh, on this live show. Uh, Webby's there as well. <laughs> Everybody's coming in now at the end of the bloody show. How you doing, Webby? Lovely to see you. Uh, we had a lovely super chat just come in. Who was that? I don't know who that Kimberly, thank you, darling. We'll get Sky down there. There she is. Kimberly's just bought you a treat, Sky. Kimberly's just bought you some treats. I'll get you some treats tomorrow. Thank you, Kimberly. That's really kind of you. You are a diamond. You really are. Um... Uh, Andy, you was catching up on my videos, Andy. <laughs> uh, we've been running for about, uh, where are we? Nearly two hours now on this live stream. I've had to mess about with my mic, plugging in my charger and everything to keep the iPhone battery rocking and rolling on this live. We've done a walkabout. We've done a cookabout as well. We've had some nice chops in the air fryer. There will be some more videos coming up with the air fryer in the future. Baking cakes, Yorkshire puddings, all sorts of stuff. Baking bread, cooking roast dinners, Cooking lamb, pork, beef, all that kind of stuff. Tony, another super chat. Thanks, Tony. Me brother from another mucker. Thank you, Tony. From another mucker. From another mother. <laughs> Cheers, Tony, bro. Another scrape, another treat for you, Sky. It's two treats for you. One from Tony and one from Kimberly from Stateside. Pigs ears. She loves pigs ears, Tony. I, I can't find them on the island, but uh, there are other trees I can get her. But uh, no one on the island that bloody sells them. Tried to chew on my uh, pork chop here while I'm talking to you guys at the same time. So lovely. Right, I think we'll finish it there. We'll have a vlog tomorrow night. Let's say we have a vlog Monday night, Wednesday night, Friday night. And we have a... Um, no, Monday night, Wednesday night, Saturday night we have a normal vlog. And on Sunday we have lives. So we do four shows a week. So try and join all those if you can. Give us a share, give us a like and a... Sh and uh, comment and all that. I love your comments. You know, I love the interaction. It's your channel at the end of the day. You know, it's not just my channel. It's our channel. And uh, let's try and grow it together if we can. Let's try and get 5,000 subscribers by the end of the next week. 
that'd be good. I think we're only about 50 off now. So if you share the channel, tell your mates there's a brummy nutter doing silly things out on an island somewhere. Get them all to come and have a look at the channel. Let's try and get to 5k if we can. And then the next target will be 10k. That would be pretty awesome. Right, so I'm going to sign you off, folks. Time to get a bit dull here. Try to chew my chop and talk at the same time. Uh, it's getting a bit cloudy now. Still a bit of blue sky up there. And we'll see you uh, tomorrow night's vlog uh, video, which might be about air fryers. I might do one about air fryers. It's not a review. I'm not going to do a review on them. I'll just show you the uh, versatility of an air fryer in a camper van for free energy cooking. Total free. No cost at all to power your air fryer via solar and have free energy. Stop using my bloody gas, which would be a bonus. Save a bit of money. Lovely job, Lee. There's a family now on the grass out there. I don't know where they... Oh, there's a camper van up there. All right, got another camper van coming. So I might not be on my own tonight, which I don't mind. I'm well away from everyone here. That's why I've tucked myself in the corner. Uh, night, Andrew. Thanks for coming in, mate. Uh, say you missed most of the show, but uh, hey ho you're watching my videos anyway, which is lovely. So don't forget to share the videos. Get your friends, your mother, your nan, your sister, your auntie, your children to come and watch the channel. <laughs> you know we don't, uh, there's no naughty stuff on the channel. We can try and keep it nice and clean if we can. No dramas and all that. Uh, hopefully be a pleasant watch for most people. Right, lovely. Right, I'm going to sign this off, uh, folks. Thanks for coming in again. We'll see you on the next Sunday live show. I'm not sure where it will be, but uh, we'll find somewhere nice for you next Sunday. We'll do another live every Sunday. Uh, there'll be four o'clock now because the time, the nights are getting brighter. The day is getting longer. So the uh, live Sunday shows will be at four o'clock from next week. But uh, we've got three vlogs in the week. So I hope you join me for those. Till then, you all be good. Love you all. Hugs to everybody out there. Thanks for supporting country, me and uh, my mad dog Sky in Christine. And we'll see you all. See you all soon. You all be good. Cheers, David. Big waves, big hugs to Lindsay. You take care and uh, we'll see you next time. And don't forget, stay cosy. As long as you keep yourself cosy, the world is good. Catch you later, folks. Ta-da. <laughs>